it. Stop. <laughs> That was the wildest spot I think I've ever done. That's deeper than I thought. That was an epic drive. This is not your average road trip. Oh, hey. We're going 500 kilometres off the beaten path. Bush to beach. Look at that water. Pub oh, to pub. And every tough track in between. Wow, that is one of the tightest tracks you'll ever drive. I can't even turn. That didn't sound good. A bit worse than that though. I've never actually seen this happen before. There he is. Get up, you naughty little boy. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Buckle in, folks. This is going to be a trip to remember. I'm so keen. <laughs> Well, the best place to kick off any road trip in my books is a local watering hole. And this one is an absolute cracker, the Wollombi Pub. Well, how good is this? Down the Wollombi Tavern, a true four-wheel driver's pub, and it's a perfect place to kick off our next adventure. A couple of tough tracks, and also a bit of a pub crawl along it's the way. It's gonna be unreal because the Great Dividing Range runs the whole way up. We're gonna be making our way from the Wollombi Pub inland from Newcastle, but on this trip, our aim is simple. We're going to hit as many tough tracks and specky spots as possible and stick to the dirt where we can and try end up at another pub that, apparently, has no beer. Roughly 500 k's north. Taking on this adventure with us is our good mates As From Mitts, Liam in the Big Steady Rig and Double Barrel Bailey, sporting the Maverick Ranger Camper Trailer. Fresh off our tough track adventure in the Wadigans, I reckon these boys are keen as to get stuck into some tough wheeling and whatever the road trip has got in store. And if you've got a keen eye, you might have noticed I've swapped out the Luxie for the D-Max. After a tough Watto's trip, I reckon the Lux has earned some well-deserved rest, and I gotta say, the D-Max may have smaller tyres, but it's a heck of a lot comfier, and it's the perfect rig to tackle the East Coast adventure with. Hey Jocko, cut rock road mate, you've done that one a few times. How fun is this track? Yeah, mate, I have done, not for a couple of years, but it's always a good time when uh, we hook into it. Some steep little rocky hill climbs and a good bit of fun. Well, Jocko, what a way to open the account, mate, of our Definitely, road trip. mate. Yeah, part one of the road trip, drive up some big rock steps. You could go a couple of different ways. I can definitely see the way Big Soot's going to come up. Up here, all flexed up, looking yeah, good. Yeah, lift the wheel for yeah. show. Yeah. Um, scare the heck out of myself, and uh, hopefully I don't hit that tree. Hopefully. You can see some people have given it a little smooch in the past. But, uh, I'll probably come up this side. Yeah. You might have to take a slightly different line in the Roger D, that. Yeah, I've got that nice mid canopy on the back, and I don't want to scratch <laughs> not it. Not just so yet. Yeah. Let's get you up here first, and I'll see how not to do it, and then we'll oh, go from there. Can't wait, mate. <laughs> Right, here we go. Big soot. Here she comes. As soon as you get a vehicle onto it, it always looks just that little bit steeper. That's the go. Oh, see? <laughs> hey! Bet you weren't expecting that. Or was it? Yeah. Let's go and do it again. I have to go a bit more left or a bit more right. Just talked over on this step. Yeah, I feel step. like if you committed, you could drive through it. I think so, but I'm going to go a little bit to the left, yeah. I think. Yeah, keep coming on that. That's it. Now start straightening up. That's it. Yep, yeah, that's it. Beautiful. Up we go. Well, that was a pretty spicy moment. We're only 40 metres into the track. That's nice and tight, isn't it? Oh, I've got to say, Big Soot, she loves a lean, doesn't she? You don't want to get that wrong, because that could be a very expensive little mistake. You've got to think such skinny thoughts in here. You don't want to hit that big rock, is the plan. Oh, that is a narrow hole. It gets narrow when you start driving up it. That is real tight. Look at all the scrape marks in that rock. I know. Hopefully there <laughs> won't be a sooty scrape mark. The tricky thing on most challenges is that usually, when in doubt, you can power out. And if vehicles talk over, it's not always that much of an issue. You can reset and try again. But here, if you talk over just a few centimetres too much, well, let's just say goodbye to your panels. So you really need to get your line 100% right. Let's try not to flex into that rock. Yeah, nice and steady. That's it. Smidge, you right. All right, you're in the hole now. I'm guessing there's not a heap of room between the rock and... There is not, no. yeah. <laughs> so you are kind of in this hole now, but if you could try and get your tyre over here a bit more, you've yep. got a nice little ledge. Yep, yep. Right, oh, 
Oh, it's just slipping over, yeah. If you go back, I can probably pack that hole a bit and lift that left side. There's a hole on the left side here, which is causing Sooty to lean its panels right into that rock wall. But a bit of rock packing might do the trick. so close. That's it. It's just a kick on your step. Is it gonna clear that rock? That's the go. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was millimeter precision mate. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. That is one of the tightest tracks you'll ever drive. You've got, as you see, one of the biggest rocks ever, which comes within a playing card of your door. And I'm really trying to keep Sooty in one piece. I mean, it's the version two, it's pretty much unscathed. A couple of little dents here and there, but I'm trying to keep it that way. I think the boys did a good job, spot me through there. All right, let's see how the big D-Max goes. I'm gonna try and keep it nice and straight up here. So I can just idle up this front rock step, get my front up. All right, square up, yep. There we go, that's what I want. Your, your back needs to be slightly over. Yeah, okay, but yeah, you'll get that. You'll yep, get that. I'll do that again. That yep. one. Very committing. <laughs> Very committing. <laughs> that was so cool, Jocko. That was really good. If that drove, that would have been sick. I think you would have been. The hero of the Wadigans, uh -huh. the mayor, the mayor, the mayor of the Wattos. <laughs> That's the beauty of this track. There's just so many different little lines you can pick. You can be very technical. We've tried the middle line, we've tried the left line. Now there's the right line to try, and I reckon you'll get this one, but it is a little bit off camber. I'm sensing a bit of a wheel lift coming up maybe, but if he gets his line right, straight to the top. Now you've got to be careful on the right line because on the driver's side, there's a massive drop off, which will definitely be a showstopper. That's it, that's it. Very good, Jocko. Oh, you, mate. That's it. Oh. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, what's going on? Put like a couple of rockos in there. <laughs> that was a great run and so close. But there's a little step that might need some packing to help pop the D-Max over. We've got the right side packed with some rocks, but on the left, we're gonna chuck some treads down to create a bit of a bridge. Yep, yep. Hey, there we go, there we well go. done, boys. That's the ticket. That's the ticket, mate. Straight we up. got her up there in the end. Well, well done, done, boys, good spotting. Treads just popped you straight up. They did their job. How good. Jeez, wide dog. Righto, the big step's out of the way, and now I've got to somehow squeeze the D-Max through this rock. This will be interesting. So every movement, eh, just gets you so close to the rock. This is the most expensive car I've ever taken between some rocks. That's very good. Feeling better. Oh, yeah. We might just chuck them on the wheel. Yeah, let's do, let's do that. I don't want to feed the canopy into the thing. Yeah. Jocko's has made the right call here. He's got the vehicle in a perfect position to win, so we're just going to unspool the run bug, get it up on the tree, and um, then he can really delicately navigate via the winch, because the scariest part, I reckon, is the next little bit as the canopy goes next to that rock. You'll have to be so careful on that run bug, mate. It's another use you can use these recovery blankets for, obviously, for a safety reason, but what we're doing here is moving it down just a little bit because the rope's actually gonna go against this rock and uh, we don't want it to fray the rope. So we're gonna protect the rope, keep it all nice and safe. With the Rundra on the D-Max, it's safe to crawl up, but it's still darn close on that canopy. And I reckon some of the wider vehicles are gonna have some fun coming through there. Oh, not much in that. That's the ticket. Yeah. 
You can see that even just the slightest touch of that rock has taken all the paint and scratched this canopy, but no dents though, just to taking a little bit of superficial paint off it. Built nice and tough. Well, I reckon we'll take that one. And I know the folks back at Mitts can get that fixed up pretty easy. I'm very confident in the 200. I think you'll avoid that hole that I jumped into. Yep, wide oh. dog, twin locked. Yeah, it'll crawl up this bit. It's the bit inside the two big rocks where you yeah. need to be quite skinny. Tell you what, there's gonna be a playing card worth of space between the paddle and the rock, that's for certain. All right, not gonna lie, a little bit nervous. There you go. Oh. Come up. Yep. Hey, nice. Very good, mate. Very good. <laughs> nice and technical, that one, isn't it? It is. It is. A bit hairy angle, but... Yeah. If you saw our previous Waddington Zep, you'll know that Liam could wheel that steady 200 on the tough stuff. Jeez, it's tight. But when it comes to the width, there ain't much you can do about it. <laughs> There's not much in that, mate. That was the wildest spot I think I've ever done. There yeah. was millimetres in that. Is Liam still holding his breath? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I've done this bit, Jocko. You better fly <laughs> through here. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Yeah. Oh. Very tight. Oh. That's wild. The 200 has missed the side of that rock by no more than a sheet of paper. He's getting hung up on that kicker thing. So Obviously. wide. Yeah. Just getting forced on the slider. <laughs> <laughs> You're very close. Oh, we got a new contender for Sooty. I'll have to give you my number plates, mate. <laughs> Incredibly close. Just that little bit wider than Sooty, just can't quite get onto the line we need to sort of protect the panel work. He's still got traction though, that's he's the key still, thing. He's, he's got traction, he's getting hung up a little bit, that's the only thing. And he needs to, I guess, winch from the rest of it. Yeah, I reckon if you it's want just to save those panels. Up. Yeah. So close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm desensitized to a champion. Can't scare me. <laughs> the guy's got nerves of steel. He can't be shook. Liam, mate, it's a good call. And with close to 500k still to travel on this road trip, I reckon keeping that 200 in one piece is the right thing to do. A little bit of right hand down, get away from that 3-2. Well, the Rumbers are getting a bit of a workout today, but with a bit of concentration, Liam's up and the 200 is up with no damage. All right, Az, bring up the big rig. He's a little bit skinnier than the big 200, but those leaf springs might catch him out a little bit. That's okay. If we can get him up here, should be able to winch him. It shouldn't do too much damage. <laughs> That's the canopy. Mitch is running sort of that half canopy. A bit different from the D-Max. Jocko got the end of the canopy and scraped it against the rock. I reckon he should be right. Maybe the tray might cop a little bit, but I reckon the canopy is pretty safe. That's it, mate. Perfect, mate. It's just, yeah, it's your mirror. <laughs> That's brand new too. Oh, no. Go back and right end down, the left end down a bit. Oh, I reckon that clutch is getting a workout. And those clear views too. The 79 is just a bit too far over, so we're going to reposition him on a better line. That's that rock there. Uh, That didn't sound good. No. Might go for a winch, I reckon. Yeah, winch sounds good. <laughs> ah, bugger. Oh, I smell that. Didn't even see that shop lighted. Sounds like a hub. Bugger. I was trying to creep <coughs> him forward and something's just given up on. Oh, it's oh I think it's a CV. Uh, oh, Looks like that CV, I reckon, it's just given up. We'll winch him up to the top, diagnose it. We've still got a fair bit of this track to go to. That might have been a hub, maybe. I reckon it's a hub. I'm being optimistic. While the 79 was talked up, something gave way and it didn't sound too good. How's that left side? But 
We need to get it through this rock before we can assess the damage. Not there. That's on. Yep. No, the boys are right. They're on that. Might be a hub. But yeah, I doubt that's it sounded like a CV. I hope it's a hub. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty common on these things. It's unlikely they break CVs because they're quite strong in the big 79s. Fingers crossed for a hub. A moment of truth. <laughs> so as we take this off, this is cool because you can diagnose it without actually taking the tire off. And if this oh. is, oh, oh yeah, there you go. if this is broken, <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> broken. It <laughs> it's that. definitely in broken. So the whole hub has shattered. Engagement gear is absolutely cooked. Oh, hang on, a bit worse oh. than that though. Uh oh. A bit worse than that. It um, turns out that we need to replace the CV as well because the stub axle is gone. Uh, bugger. I reckon you can blame Timmy for that one because he re I reckon he shock loaded it for that many years yeah. and he's just, you're the poor side behind the vehicle today. <laughs> it just it decided to let go. Yeah, it's definitely Timmy's fault this one. Yeah. Well, it's a bit worse than we thought, and both the hub and stub axle are broken, meaning we need to change both parts. Luckily, as has the spares here, so in theory, we should be able to get this running with some good old-fashioned bush mechanics. Well, we've hit a bit of a snag. Unfortunately, the spindle is buggered. Now, if we take these locking nuts out of the way, we might not be able to get it all back together because we don't have a spare spindle. And keep in mind, we've got a spare CV, axle and hub, but I've never actually seen this happen before with the spindles that badly damaged that we won't be able to use it again. So what we're doing is we're actually going to put it back together, broken CV and all, broken axle and all, and um, limp it out of this track. Well, as it looks like you'll be tackling the rest of this track in three-wheel drive, and let's just say it ain't going to be easy. That's impressive as, even in three wheel drive you know how to steer that thing. But I think it's about to get a heck of a lot trickier. This is a tricky challenge and you've got two lines, both as sketchy as the other. The left hand line is almost vertical and it's a bit of a punt up the rocks which requires a fair bit of right boot. While the right side is going to be a longer, more technical rock climb which talks you over the edge of a fairly big drop off. Either way, it's going to be a good bit of fun. That, that already feels sketchy just crossing over here. <laughs> I think I'm going to lift a big wheel, I'm going to scare myself and I'll probably will take a different line. But... That's what I mean, that's what I mean. <laughs> Talk over. <laughs> and, and it's got to keep going, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I was like, as soon as your back tire gets to that step, you're just going to talk over and do that. Yeah. I was, I was hoping that I'd be able to just drive through that, but it felt too wild. That was exactly what I, <laughs> I thought was going to happen. you got to try these things though. Give it a go. Wow, oh, that was pretty wild and Soot did not love it. But Sean's going to line it up and try again on a different line. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I saw you, you did the like... I was like, oh, I'm ready to back off. No, let's go, let's yeah. go, let's go. That was proper commitment. I can see it in your eyes, mate. Well done. <laughs> oh, it's really sweaty in the seat area. Oh, is that sweat? Yeah, oh, I smell it. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Oh, that was committing. I didn't like the angles there. It felt all off camp but nasty. These tracks are super fun. Righto, here he comes. Liam's proved he can more than wheel that big 200, so this should be fun. Come on, mate. Oh, that was so... Stop! Oh, stop! <laughs> Is there a rock there? Yeah, mega rock. 
go left turn down and back, mate. That was an epic drive. Oh. You just kept the pace moving, kept the weight where it needed to be. All I could out. see was sky. I didn't yeah. know. Hit that any harder, your airbags would have come on. <laughs> yeah, you got about a metre. Yeah, bonus line. Bonus. Can't yeah, see what's yeah, you're about to climb up on the left. That's it. Well, Liam, you certainly didn't disappoint. Now, as is only in three-wheel drive, so there's no point trying to drive this under his own steam. His best bet is to get the nose of the 79 up through the easy bit and put it in the right position to winch. Once he's done that, it'll be a relatively easy winch and the big mitts rig will live to fight another day. Now, we've put our heads together and come up with a bit of a solution to fix that 79 spindle. With this track behind us, our road trip is going to take us north, and it just so happens that Aaron's place is in that same direction. So, we're going to point our noses to his shed, where we should have everything we need to get the 79 up and running again. Hey. With a bit of elbow grease, we've got it apart, and you can see there how the CV's broken. Well, there's a new one. That one there is the broken one. It's very rare to see the stub axle actually break on a CV like that. It's the um, first, first time I've seen it, which makes for a very difficult bush fix, as we saw. We needed a brand new spindle, new hub, and of course the axle and CV. So, anyway, new one in. It's on camera, you gotta stay it in. Look at that. Hey. With the new CV in, it's just a matter of greasing up the new parts and putting them back in the way they came out. Fingers crossed as you should be back in full wheel drive in no time. And just as well because we've got some ground to cover on our road trip north. And I've got a little surprise up my sleeve that I'm pretty keen to show the boys. Well, tell you what, that was another epic day on the tracks. The Wattos never disappoints, but now it's time to punch up north a little bit and head to camp because Bailey went ahead. He's already at camp now, and he's told us he set up a little bit of a surprise. He won't tell us what it is, so we're keen as to get out there, get set up, and see what Bailey's got in store. How good? The weather on the East Coast has been absolutely cracking, and we figured you can't have a good old-fashioned road trip without a quick stop off at the beach. Jocko, I couldn't resist mate, a little pit stop on our pub crawl north and have a go at this site mate. Oh mate, what a stunning part of the world, look at that water. <laughs> the beach is nice and soft too, nice and hot, the water is absolutely stunning mate. Look at the light of it, crystal clear. I thought after today hitting the tracks in the hot, dusty conditions, wouldn't mind just uh, you know cleaning myself up and having a bit of a swim. Absolutely, mate. And the colour of that water looks like the stuff of postcards. I reckon we park up and find a good spot for a swim, eh? The New South Wales North Coast is full of breathtaking beaches just like this one, with crystal clear water you could swim in for days. If you're ever on your way through, I reckon you'd be crazy not to stop off and check it out. It's moments like this that I just love owning a four-wheel drive. As beautiful as it is, unfortunately it's just a pit stop and we're going to make some K's up if we want to make it to camp before dark. In true four-wheel drive 24-7 fashion, we're going to take a different route on this one and see some of the sights along the way. As you make your way along the north coast, there's so much to do and see, including the Mile Lakes region, one of the state's largest coastal lake systems. There's also a car ferry that takes you across the lake and gives you a moment to really take in the view and really appreciate the area. And with a bit of pedal to the metal, we've made it to camp just as the sun starts to dip. And Bailey told us to hold off on the beers because he's got a little surprise for us over at the Maverick Ranger Limited. So the boys get stuck straight into setting up camp and I've got to say, this spot is not half bad, eh?
Well, this is an extraordinary little campsite right on the Hastings River. It doesn't get much better than that. Well, it does. You grab yourself a cold eat. That, that certainly helps. In fact, what I'm gonna do tonight, I'm gonna cook up a meal for the boys as you probably would have guessed by now, but it's gonna be a pretty special one and it requires a little bit of preparation. I'm doing some chicken burgers and I wanna basically get some of that chicken and um, marinate it in some buttermilk before we start. So that'll give you a couple of ideas what I'm up to. I might do that now, so I can go have a fish, a couple of beers around a campfire. We've actually pitched up camp at an awesome hip camp just outside of Port Macquarie. Surrounded on one side by farm animals and on the other by the river, I reckon it's as good a spot as any to enjoy an arvo with the boys. One thing I've noticed is that Bailey's been awfully quiet since we've arrived. And something tells me that he's got something up his sleeve that he's not telling us. I reckon we need to make our way over to the Ranger Limited and see just what's going on. <laughs> Have a look at this! Boys! Bye, boys! Look at that! Good good are these shoes alright, mate? Are these. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Grab yourself a cold glass. Oh, look at that. Cold glasses. We better open up the bar, eh? Oh, thanks, mate. Hey! 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 <laughs> How good's this? Well done, you've even got little festoon lights, mate. Yeah, I like it. On, mate. Just the way I like it, mate. Just the way I like it. Bailey? Bales? Cheers. Bales, Bales brought the bar. Good, boys. <laughs> How good is this? Bloody hell, mate. You've really outdone yourself. You've got a dartboard right there. Mm -hmm. We've got the Rabbitohs 2014. <laughs> Big Greg Inglis of Guana just scored a try. You know what to top it off just that last little bit? What's that? A good pub feed. Well, oh. I can arrange that. I've actually got something sort of planned. If Bailey, it's like how are you, mate? Yeah. The kitchen might be open in a second. Kitchen mm -hmm. open soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, get your we'll, orders get, in. we'll get the lights. You get your orders in, and, and uh, you've only got one option, folks. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to say, Bailey, I was wondering where the next pub stop was, but you brought it to us. Who would have thought the Maverick camper trailer could double up as a bar? <laughs> and a pretty comfortable one at that. Guys, I thought just I'd take two seconds to show you this rig because you've seen the steady rig, it's been driving some pretty wild tracks, but you probably haven't seen it at camp at night. And it's such a subtle vehicle, the lighting is absolutely spot on. Now, I thought I got the job done pretty good with Sooty, and trust me, it is pretty good, but this one here is another level. It's got lights absolutely everywhere. Now, as you can see, it's got a really nice warm light all about it. Everything's been angled in the right direction. It's got all the right lights, from little light bars through to little camp lights, reverse light. They all come together at night and make the perfect camp setup. And you've probably seen these bad boys here too. Now, it takes about two seconds. Take these covers off and you've got some of the brightest lights ever. Now, if you've ever seen this rig on a night run, you'll know exactly what I mean. You put the covers straight back on, and I'll tell you what, that is one of the nicest looking lights I think I've ever seen. Now, I'm about to cook up some a mad feed for the boys. Fingers crossed, I get a bit of inspiration to cook up the best burgers the boys have ever had. Well, how good is this? I mean, it's not every day. You can come back to a little home base like this and not just have a camper trailer and a full kitchen at your disposal, but also have a full blown bar. That's what I'm talking about. I'm doing chicken burgers. Now, as you saw me before, I did a little bit of preparation. I've got chicken breast, basically, and I've cut that down into small sort of patty sizes. Imagine, you know, what you'd have on a burger and I've just soaked that in buttermilk. Now, what I've done is I've probably put about three and a half hours or so in the fridge. If you're gonna do this at camp, I suggest at least an hour. Try and get that on the buttermilk for about an hour. We'll sit that to the side and Jocko. Mate. Jocko, hope you're prepared for tonight, mate, because. When you said burgers, yeah. and then you said the word chicken in front of those burgers, I got so excited. I also said the best burgers you've probably ever had Which in is your a life. big call, because I've massive, had some good bull gear. So, <laughs> it's a massive know. call. And obviously, Jocko, the chicken is sitting in that buttermilk, so it's mm, ready to get a bit of coating. And now that's exactly what we're going to do now. Um, I'm going to use another Ziploc bag. Yep, yep. Mate, a bit of plain flour. Yep, chuck her in. I've got a little bit of uh, corn flour as well, mate. Yep. Yeah, this is beautiful. We're sitting here under the annex. How good is this? And these lights, Bailey did such a good job I on know, his I know, he actually really has. Now, this is a tiny bit of corn flour. Now, the corn flour is going to help with the crispiness. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's the whole job of this one. Now's a bit where we add a few spices. Now, I've got some cayenne pepper. Put heaps in, Bailey's not looking. <laughs> 
This will go, oh, this is the hottest stuff ever, by the way. This is the one I don't muck around with too much. <laughs> that's enough of that. Oh yeah, that is, that's got some. Smoked yeah. paprika. Use some garlic salt too. Righto, so that, that is looking quite good. Now, while, while this is going, Jocko, do you want to grab some oil, mm -hmm. whack that into the pan, we'll get the oil nice and hot. Now, yep. use, if you're going to be doing burgers or pretty much any frying, vegetable oil or maybe even canola is probably the only two that you really want to use. Okay, how much oil in the pan? About, yeah, that, much. about that much? Yeah. Right, no one, worries. One Jocko. One, yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's generous. So one and a half Jockos, no yeah. worries. <laughs> Get that going. There we go, we're on. Get it nice and hot. What we want to do is the chicken is now sat in that buttermilk. We want to drain the excess buttermilk off. You don't want to have too much on it, it's going to make it quite soggy. So just give it a little drain. And then that goes into the flour mix. As you can see, all the flour will stick to it and they should look something like that. I'm ready to go, so that is one done. Now you can go any any form of chicken. I, I'm a bit of a breast man myself, mate. Really? So like I said before, way to test that oil. Get a little bit. There you go. Oh, yeah. See, see the bubbles of fury? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what we're looking for. We can whack those straight in, Jocko. And how long do you... They will start to go nice. If you get the oil too hot, you're going to burn it. And if you mm -hmm. get the chicken too thick, you're going to burn your coating and your chicken's not going to be cooked. Mm-hmm. Righto. Got that going, we're gonna do some bacon. Yep. There's gonna be a lot going on. Give it a couple of minutes on each side, probably, yep. and they'll go nice golden sort of brown. Mm -hmm. We'll turn them over, then we'll have another go. Now, I need to come clear on something here. I'm gonna make a burger sauce. That's, I'm gonna use it. This is egg mayonnaise. I'm gonna make, I'll try and come up with what I think is, is the right amount of burger sauce. Just some tomato sauce. So that tomato sauce is gonna go in with the mayonnaise. Yep. The piece de resistance. This is, Pickles. Now we're going to be using the Yum. pickles on the burgers, of mm -hmm. course, but it's got a bit of juice, right? That's what I'm doing. Some pickle juice. Yeah, that much. We're not done yet. We've got some red hot buffalo wing sauce. You probably didn't use that in your no, one. No, I didn't. Yeah, you basically don't whisk that together. Giving the chicken a little flip. Oh yeah, that's looking good, Jocko. That's a go. Okay, do yourself a favour. Have a little taste of that and see if we're on the same page. That's pretty good, mate. It's pretty, pretty good. good. It's not bad, is it? It is one little thing you can do. I think what it needs... Oh, now we're talking. So I'm basically just cutting just a couple of pickles down, quite thin pickles. They're going straight in. That chicken is looking ripped. Jocko. We good? Look at it. I can tell it's really crispy. That's exactly what you want. You get that at a particular restaurant that I love. Same thing. I like how you call it a restaurant. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's Mate, right. look at that. Look at that. Super crispy. Here we go. The bacon is done, Jocko. If you got the fong, oh, you've got some. I've got tongs, yep. Chuck that under the airfoil. I've got the buns going. What we're going to do now, get a couple of buns. In the bacon fat. Perfect. In the bacon fat. The first few are going to be the best ones. That chicken is looking good, So Jocko. good. That is the star of the show without a doubt. I think the burger sauce is probably one of the most important parts. It really is. Yeah. Let's get some chicken going, Jocko. Mm -hmm. Let's build these little dudes up. Roger that. Right, the heat's getting turned off, mate. Yep. Put, put the F off. The boys might want seconds, mate. We've got a couple of burgers made up here and they are looking red hot. We've Unreal. Got, mate, there goes bacon, we've got chicken, we've got the old, it's like it's like the proper southern fried chicken too. We've mm -hmm. got the cheese, double cheese, mind you, double chicken. We've got and pickles, that sauce. we've got the sauce, we've got a little bit of lettuce. Boys, get in, mate. Come in, boys. Come in. Now, you're going to have to just grab a burger. Grab a burger, boys. Just, just do your best. That one oh, there is a, a barley one oh, that's okay. got no pickles on it, oh, mate. Extra chilli on it. I've already grabbed one, I'm just going to stand back here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you hear the crunch? Oh, oh, my. <laughs> you got done yourself. I really think that might be the best burger I've ever made in my life. How was that? Wow. Good job. The mm, crunch. Boys. All the chicken, all the cheese. Mm. It's so good. good to go from a day out in the tracks. Don't forget to swim in the beach. Mm. Yeah, right, that seems like a, a yeah. Bailey's bar. <laughs> Liam? <laughs> <laughs> Getting amongst it. I'm nearly finished. Go sit by the fire, enjoy these ones, oh, and yeah. uh, I th something tells me we're going to be back at this bar tonight. There's no oh, doubt about yeah, it. I think so. <laughs> oh, unreal.
Hey, you going, legends? Hope you're enjoying today's episode. I'll tell you what, every time you get a couple of mates together, a couple of tough four-wheel drives and do a pub crawl, it's all the ingredients for the ultimate adventure, in my opinion. But I just want to interrupt for two seconds because we've got an ultimate giveaway. Yeah, that's right. We like giving back to our subscribers. And you can win a set of these. These ones are right here. These are the brand new Steady Evo Type Xs. Now, I'm running on the 200 here. They're brand new. They perform really well. It's really cool. You've got a spot and a spread. So together, they're unreal on the open road. So pure chance to win. We're going to make it really easy. You're going to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell us down below what pub you'd love to go to. It's really easy. Two of those you should have already done, like and subscribe. Tell us what pub you like in the comments below. And I'll tell you what, you can go away with a set of these brand new lights. Good luck. Well, it seems that overnight the rain has fallen. So just as well, we've got a beach run in yesterday but a little bit of rain ain't gonna stop us from continuing our way north on our road trip. Well, how good is this? I mean, this campsite is actually a farm stay. And the owner came around last night with a bunch of eggs. That's from an Arakan, if you know your little chickens. And uh, these are all fresh straight from the farm. So we're gonna have a bit of scrambled eggs this morning and a bit of fresh bacon as well. As is utilizing the mitt setup, He's got the bacon and the eggs on the go, and I reckon we're gonna need this fuel because today we're gonna to a bunch of awesome tracks lined up. Well, first thing in the morning, what I like to do is just check on my 12 volt system, even though I forget sometimes, this thing you hardly need to remember. Yep, full battery on the go block. Now, I put this as a temporary measure in the back of Sooty here, but something tells me it's not going anywhere because anytime you can get a 12 volt system, which it just works. It doesn't matter if you're using camp lights all night, your fridge is always on, it doesn't matter. I never need to worry about the state of charge or how much battery I've got left. And a full battery first thing in the morning, it's a good start of the day. Now we're pointing our noses towards an awesome little pub for tonight, roughly about 100 k's north of here. But in between lies a bunch of awesome tracks, creek runs and rocky climbs that we're going to hit up on our way. It should make for one heck of an adventure. So with that, it's time to get camp packed up and head out on our way. I'm just, uh, I'm just going to jump out of the way. Oh. 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 That's, you got to watch for that. I've spent a bit of time wheeling out here and I know just the place to poke our noses in. This is a fun creek run which takes you deep into the forest just west of Port Macquarie. And with the rain we had overnight, I reckon we're in for a bit of a challenge. Hey, how good's this? Another day out on the tracks. A little bit moist today. Gonna make the conditions a little bit fun, especially doing this creek run. This track actually follows a creek and you're gonna drive through the creek Pretty cool, we've done it a few times now, and uh, I've done it for ages though. It's one of my favorites in this neck of the woods. Righto, I'm in the creek. That's deeper than I thought. Oh, that's a bit of a lean over into that tree, that's sick. That is a lot deeper than I thought, mate. That looks so clear, but I assumed it was about inking deep. And uh, <laughs> I think I'll look at my face, tell another story. Oh, I can feel something filling up with water. Rock crawler, D-Max dog. Geez, it is a little bit deceiving. Nice clear water. Nice couple of rocks. If you didn't have sliders, I'll definitely hurt. It leans in a little bit. That is uh, definitely a little deep hole there. <laughs> oh, here he goes, the big boy. Epic little crossing. What a drive. Oh, we bet. <laughs> That's the go, Bailey. Good line, good line. Oh. That's an angle. Scraping. Oh, that was something. <laughs> oh, I feel great. Oh, 
Creek runs are always an awesome challenge and offer a different style to the usual rocky climbs you're used to seeing. This run seems like it hasn't been driven in a while, with plenty of trees down as well as washed out sections from where the water pumped through here during the floods last year. Wow, this track is very overgrown and something tells me very steep as well. I think it goes straight up there. Geez, that looks like an interesting little pinch. I'll uh, see how we go on the big D-Max. It's a bit tricky to tell on camera, but this section of track is just so slippery and elbows to the left at the top. The problem is you've got to give it the berries and at the last minute get off the throttle to make that turn. Good drive, Jocko. Good drive, mate. that one a little bit. Horsepower. Woo! And with that, we've pushed our way through the dense rainforest and pointed our nose towards some steep tracks that continue north. But not before we're going to take on a few nasty looking bog holes. It's pretty cool, the sun's back out. Probably what we needed as well. Some of these tracks really steep and quite scrabbly, so traction's gonna be a little bit hard to find. Whoa, have a go at that, eh? Up we go, baby! <laughs> Holy, what a what an angle. <laughs> a little bit of right hand down as you come down. Well that was a close call, but Bailey's pulled through and found the right line to keep most of those tyres on the ground. Right, I'm gonna try this one unlocked just because I can. Hopefully big soot's got what it takes. Oh yep, good luck mate. Last time I tried the unlock challenge, well, it didn't end well for the poor old Luxie. <laughs> oh, transfer case, pop! I'm gonna try that again. One more go, one more of the unlock challenge. Oh! Gonna have to chuck a locker on here. Should be able to crawl forward from there. Isn't it crazy what lockers can do? Ooh, front and rear locker. We've got one of the best mods you can make for a vehicle like this. You can make a world of difference. Yeah. All right. Let's see what you can do, big girl. Now, if I climb up here, Let's just see what happens there. That's the ticket. That's the one I want. That's the ticket. Because then my tyres have a nice little road. Now if I turn left here. Got it, got it, got it. Oh. That didn't work. Just that rear, eh? This is a clearance thing, I think. I think it's my rear tow bar getting stuck. Oh well, I had a good run, but the little tyres mean I've just not got the clearance to get through this one. Ah, it's a bit of a bugger. Jocko's just sort of slipped into a hole. He's gone sideways and crab walked up there. It wasn't exactly the right line. And with a vehicle like that, you've got to be millimetre perfect. And just slipping into that hole meant he doesn't get another go at driving it because the tray is hard up against the bank. So unfortunately, he's got a winch. He's going to be a little bit devoed too. I reckon he really wanted to drive that. Quick tug on the winch and I'm in the clear and under my own steam. Oop, come back. It's flat. It's not off, it's just got a crack in the bead. I'm just gonna plug it, Jocko. Yeah, all right. Get your air compressor out and I'll shuck a couple of plugs in her. Uh, I've done a sidewall on a little rock here. I think I was just leaning into it a bit too hard. 
unfortunately, but Sean's got some plugs, so we'll be able to chuck a few plugs in there and uh, hopefully we'll be able to keep going. Ah, that's a bugger. This rocky country can be notorious for tyre damage and you've got to always keep an eye on where you're placing your wheels. But a couple of tyre plugs should do the trick and get us through to the end. In the spirit of the, uh, of the day and the unlock challenge, I'm going to see how the, the mighty traction control in 200 goes. What do you reckon, guys? Yeah, I reckon it's going to be all you need, mate. That'll, that'll make funny noises and get you right at the top. There it is. There it is. See the track control? That's it comes, pretty impressive. It comes to a stop and then it just goes, no, nah, hang on, we'll, we'll get through this. Wow. <laughs> the big 200. Us four drivers really get spoilt with lockers. Traction control is all you need. Good drive, Liam. All right. Bailey is next and he's still running unlocked. So this should be interesting. Just try, try one more on the wall, mate. Just go one more, one more, no more. Nothing bad will ever happen. To me. To me, a bit more, some more, more to me. That's it. That's it. It's good effort, mate. Very <laughs> good. B double has done well, and with a quick winch, he's up and out of trouble. And it even looks like he's found that right pedal. Yes, that's it. Well done, Bale. Very well done, mate. That was commitment. You did well. Thanks, mate. We'll just creep and crawl our way through. Pretty committing line, this. His hook is pointing the direction he wants to go. Over there. It's like a compass. Over there, over there. Come on. Walks up. Yeah. Get in those holes, big boy. You know you want to, <laughs> eh? Hey? There it is. Oh, there we go. Good, we come down to some place. Yeah. <laughs> Happy days. How good's that? What a fun car to drive. Oh, well steered, as, but up ahead it gets even more wild. Well, this is a super scrabbly hill. There's some decent sized rock steps and a lot of loose rocks, which means two things. Firstly, plenty of options for rock packing. But secondly, Sean's going to have to keep momentum to come through this rock step. Be interesting to see how he goes. Right on, mate. Wow, this is steep. No, I can't even talk, is that steep? This hill, super steep. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I haven't even started the hill yet. You might have to do a straddle, boy. I picked a really bad line to begin with. I've just absolutely cooked it. That's the guy. Yes. Hey! Power through that one. This is a cool little climb. It's quite technical. It's so shaly. You want to get a fair bit of traction. You're going to commit at the right moment. This does not look. Very easy. That's the go. It's gonna feel good. It's not gonna feel great. Oh, hey, that's the go. Sometimes you just gotta commit and drive through it. That's exactly what Sean just did. That was sick. Well, so she does it again. Up we go. Like a little guinea pig, this thing. Very <laughs> How good was that? So much fun. Pretty committing hill, and the camera's not going to do justice. Just how steep and how little traction is on this hill, but I'll tell you what, you get your tyres in the right spot, <laughs> up you go. Right, Jocko, we're ready for you, mate. Just think, just try and channel, what would Jesse do in a situation like this? Probably feed it. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he would. I reckon you'll, he's nice, calm and collected, mate. He's right up your alley, a real technical, steep committing drive. That's it, that's the line, the straddle. You made a bit of momentum for this one, I reckon. Yep. Oh. So close. Yeah, 
think that's it. If, it, if you roll through that, you'll be right. There we go. Very good, mate. Very good. That's insane. Getting the D-Max up there is no easy feat. That means a total commitment to the line and finding the right one. He's into it. Commitment. That's what you need. That's what you need. What you need. Momentum! <laughs> He's on fire. That's what you need. I've got to say, that was a pretty awesome run in the D-Max, and we've done well to get it this far. But the lack of traction on this steep climb just caught us out. One more crack, and we might just have it. There he is. There he is. There we go. Get up, you naughty little boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Exactly what you need on these sort of hills when it's all shaley. A bit of momentum is your friend. That fine line between giving it the everything and not breaking the everything. Jocko picked it. Pretty good. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Rightio. Swing lock for this one. So I'm going to take probably a similar line to to Sean. I know, this thing sounds amazing. Big steady 200 coming up a mega rock step. No dips, no worries. Like nothing. Eww. Easy does it. How sick was that? Just absolutely Easy walked up. Oh, you jinxed him. <laughs> I jinxed him. Sorry, mate. <laughs> oh, that was such a good run by the 200, but he's caught up on his rear diff. Come on, Liam, you've got this, mate. That he does it. <sighs> Quick reset, and he's back up and running. Here we go. The bit. The bit. Oh, my goodness. Stop having the tyre. Yeah. Really, what's that wall? White dog. I think he's got a slight cut in the tread. I think I'm going to tie up. Yeah, 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 you just hit the wall. That's a go. Yes. Big oh. 200, up she goes. Big 200, I can hear a little bit of air coming out. He must have done the side wall of a tyre. This track is not, it's, it's, it's relentless, mate. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's so tough on your tyres. Just yeah. sharp, jagged rocks. Everywhere. Oh, Liam's up, and while he changes the tyre on the 200, it's time for Double Barrel Bailey to show us what he's got. Come on, mate. That's it, turn up. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Go back and right end down. Now swing hard left, full lock left. Yep. Keep it going, keep it going, left, left, right, right, right. Now straighten up. Straighten up, that's it, touch the left. Left hand down a bit, mate, left hand down. Well, Bales, mate, you certainly found that right pedal. The Maverick is steaming through, keeping that momentum going. Wow. He's not stopping, I don't blame him. Left hand down. Bit of left. That's it, that's it, that's it. Go, 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 go. Got it. He's got it! Yeah, yeah, well done, guys! He's not hanging around, look at him go! <laughs> oh, yes. What a drive! How good was that? He just stayed into it. <laughs> yes! He didn't real, feel really comfortable driving a hill like this, but we oh, gave him the encouragement. We spotted him up there, and um, and now he's absolutely stoked that he's Frothing. driven. Absolutely stoked. That? That's what it's all about. Alright, last but not least, as. And I reckon he's going to give this hill a run for its money. Turn like he knows how to square him up. Easy, easy. That's it. That was a perfect line, mate. It really was. Go. This one a bit. Happy days. There we go. The sound of this thing. That's the go. Yeah, it sounds so good, eh? Very good. That's it, that's you. Very good. There we go. Straight oh, up. Well, well done, mate. Woo! Well done.
Yeah. How good's that? Oh, that was unreal. It sounded so good. V8 Fury coming up. And he just talked up and drove through. I know. It. And yeah. it, it sort of picked up a little bit. A bit like so it did. And he just kept kept yeah. on the pedal. He can wheel that 79. And with that hill conquered and the end of the track in sight, we point our noses towards the pub with no beer. Our last stop on what has been an epic road trip. Well, Jocko, what an amazing day out the tracks, mate. And how's the scenes around here? Mate, I was just thinking that. What a stunning part of the world and an epic day on the tracks. How good, mate? Liam, in the big 200, mate, you made those tracks look pretty easy in that thing, mate. Look, you're not wrong. It's a it's a bit of a luxury beast. Oh, I had an absolute bl blast today. And Bailey, mate, holy heck! <laughs> you um, I think we've opened a new world before we're driving to you, mate. Oh, mate, I had an absolute ball and really got the old hang of the old Ranger after being away for so long. And as a little motto we've got around here, mate, you put the most capable vehicles up front and up at the rear as well, mate. And you've certainly held your end of the stick up, mate. Mitz rig. It goes anywhere you point it. I'll tell you what, it's good fun driving this beast. And we've got one more stop. Now you're gonna love this one. It's a pub, but I hope you're not disappointed when I say this. There is a sign that says it has no beer. Is that because you drank it all? Of course, any good road trip needs to end at the pub. And although the name suggests otherwise, this little gem of a place does have beer. And I reckon the boys are pretty keen for one after an epic trip we just had. This is an iconic pub that is well worth a visit if you're up this way, with plenty of history threaded throughout it. Cheers, boys. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, How good. What a trip. How good. Unreal. It, it really has been one of those trips. I mean, this has been one of the great road trips. I'd, I'd call it a pub crawl, but it's so much more than that. I mean, we did start off at a pub. We were about to finish off at a pub. We had a pub in the middle. That mm -hmm. was Bailey's Bailey's bar. bar. That, that, was, that, was, that was a highlight up. pub. It really yeah. was pretty cool, mate. And Overall, we've done some hard tracks. We've mm -hmm. had breakages. Right, yeah. It's on the axle. Some pretty crazy yeah. breakages as well. A couple yeah. of tyres going. Mm -hmm. Tough tracks right up that east coast. And folks, do yourself a favour. Go and try and replicate some of the tracks we did and, and make it an adventure, a bit of an A to B mission. Unreal. Yeah. Enjoy some of these little outback pubs. Yeah. I mean, there's not many better watering holes in this, in my opinion. And hanging out with you blokes, it's been all right. Absolutely, <laughs> mate. Cheers for that. Cheers, Cheers boys. boys. Cheers. Cheers. Right, see you next time on Full Drive 24-7. Yeah, it's crazy what a little couple of rocks oh, chucked in a hole. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're a bit excited, oh, mate. About that, everyone. It's not cold. Oh, this is the end of the year, mate. It's full of air cons. This from night runs. <laughs> oh, gets me going. So. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Oh. I threw the remote onto his uh, noodle. I think I'm going to poop myself. That's what he gets for not bringing his cable remote. Well, with the right guidance up front, mate. That's what it was. You know, yeah, I'm yeah, used to yeah. dealing with millimetres, and yeah, I can. Yeah, I'll tell you what. You know all about dealing with and, a and, couple of mils. <laughs> Common mistakes made by younger, inexperienced drivers. Exactly. Sometimes take an old bull just to get up front. A couple of mils can get the job done. Yeah, I certainly can, mate. <laughs> can you just set it up for me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was cute. There's a lot of hand touching. Yeah, there was. It's an excessive amount. <laughs> Two beast feed, zinger yeah, meal, right, ultimate yeah. box. I do go through each one. Yeah, what, what did you do? Right, doing zinger burgers. <laughs> <laughs> first, but first, let's have a game of darts. Can I just say that again and actually say darts? <laughs> darts. <laughs> Imagine having this. Well, we have it really. You don't need to imagine. I'm just going to put that. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. That was weird, wasn't it? There is 11, nearly 1,100 species of native bee, and only about seven of them live in a colony and can make honey. I reckon you should make a bee shot. Need to behave yourself, mate. <laughs> right, out. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> 